Me and my father have traveled to Eidfjord, waterfall capital of Norway. We have just left the majestic Vøringfossen behind. And if you haven't seen that one, you can see it right here. Right now, we are on our way to scout out Vøringsfossen's huge neighbor, Skutjefossen. I naturally assumed that you could not drive up to this waterfall, so I was just filming a bit of B-roll when this huge waterfall suddenly appeared. I think that's it! And I was caught completely off my guard. I think that's our waterfall. But I had no idea we could drive all the way up to it. <laughs> I was just filming some bit of driving and then suddenly we arrived at our destination and I had absolutely no idea you could just drive up to this waterfall. It's incredible. It just came out of nowhere and I haven't even had time to welcome you to another episode of Running Waters. So that's what I'll do. Welcome to another episode of Running Waters. May I present to you Skutjefossen. Skutjefossen is located in Simadal. It's about half an hour drive from Eidfjö and it's what you can call a horsetail waterfall. Over 300 meters of free falling water. And that is an achievement to be proud of. Right now Skutjefossen is covered in beautiful sunlight. So I think I'm going to grab the opportunity to just take an image from here. So I brought out the big guns because I'm pretty, pretty far off. And I've focused a place where there's a lot of water running and I'm using one of these and I'm just waiting for kind of small pillars of water just going down. And when they enter the right spot, I hit, hit the shutter release. I'm shooting at 1,600 of a second. I really want to capture every drop because this composition depends on it because these falling water it, they make these lovely lovely lines going downwards and that's what I want to capture there we go I think that was it using the same principle again. I'm just tilting a bit higher up and I found a spot where the water, I think it hits a rock further up and it kind of bends so it goes in two separate directions, almost like it's a canyon of sorts. And that creates these lovely, lovely patterns in the water. So I've zoomed in there and I think I have managed to find the focus on the water, but it's, it's hard to focus on, <laughs> on drops. Uh, still shooting 1600 of a second because I want to freeze the scene yet again and I'm using this and I'm just looking and I'm hitting when I see a pattern I enjoy. That's beautiful. My final image from this location is going to be a full total of Skutjefossen. And I put my camera yet again in portrait mode. I find that orientation is kind of the, the go-to waterfall orientation. And I've changed lenses to the 12 to 60 millimeter and I'm approximately 50 millimeter in. And uh, as I'm filming now, the sun is setting behind a mountain and right now Skutjefossen is covered in beautiful soft yellowish light, but the bottom, bottom half of the image is covered... Oh, you have to take the image now. Press the button. My father saved the day because as I was talking, the light from the bottom half of the image is disappearing because it has this lovely green and right below the green it's really dark again. I think that turned out pretty well. Dad, what happened?
what has happened. I forgot my tripod up on the top of Vöringsfossen. We have to go and, uh, <laughs> and see if, if it's still there or if somebody has got uh, a new tripod. For those of you who don't know, that is Vöringsfossen. And if you want to know more about that waterfall, you should check last week's video where I visit that waterfall at the bottom and at this place we're right now. Sadly, we haven't found the tripod yet, but we're going to continue to look. We're going to drive back and get some sleep. And tomorrow morning after breakfast, uh, we're going to head out again and look for a waterfall. Uh, I have three options and we're going to plan now tonight which one of them it's going to be. So. I'll see you in the morning. We have decided to go for two waterfalls today. The first one is called Vedalsfossen. It's a waterfall in Jölmodalen. It's right by the road, 190 meters straight down. Um, it's very picturesque and it also is very popular among the tourists, so I expect a lot of people. So we're gonna have a quick stop there just to film it and take a picture. The second waterfall is called Valurfossen. It's 272 meters high and it requires a bit of a hike. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So two waterfalls today. <music> Narrow road, sharp curves, steep gradient, drive carefully, only for cars without trailers. That's right up our alley. And again, chauffeur. That, that, I think that's that's where uh, Yes, yes, it is. That's it. That is where uh, I think we need to find a place to park the car. This is a real tourist hotspot. <laughs> I couldn't be more wrong. All right, let's set up. So this is the road. First, you have a lot of metals. Then you have a little bit of a cliff. Then you have a river. Then you have forests. And way up there is Vedalsfossen. I think I'm going to use my long lens and skip all that. I have to say that that is one impressive sight. That chasm is huge. Two towering cliffs and a chasm in the middle and beautiful waterfall coming down. It's almost a shame that we can't get any closer but at the same time I don't think we would see much. I would love to get up there at that plateau in the middle so we're kind of picturing standing up on the edge by that water looking down on the entire waterfall. <laughs> that would be a, quite the feeling. That's just sheer force 192 meters straight down over the edge. Beautiful. So the, the, the right side mountain has this line at the top which goes like this. And be right below that, where the waterfall are just crashing over, there's this straight edge that goes like this. And then the waterfall goes straight down and it hits Another line from that first mountain, the right side mountain, that goes all the way down. And that creates four lines. So what I've done is that I've put on my 100 to 300 millimeter and 
I have composed the image so I get only the grey mountain and the beautiful waterfall. I am taking this image at 2000 of a second. I want to freeze every drop. F 4.0. I got a four second shutter delay because of that really wobbly, wobbly, wobbly ground. gonna try one more image and to be honest I'm really really not sure if this is going to work I'm gonna do a panorama but I'm in the middle of a hill so leveling the tripod is not that easy also my camera is tilted upwards because of the angle I'm photographing the waterfall and yeah it's very hard to kind of get a straight line but I've tried to keep the uh, the level difference to a minimum so it may work but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it and if I can pull this off I'm gonna do a really really beautiful panorama of this whole scene and I'm really hoping it works because if this works if this works if this works it's gonna be a great image say goodbye to uh, Vedalsfossen and continue on to Valurfossen because as I mentioned a bit earlier Valurfossen requires a bit of a hike so we better get on with it because we have a long drive home afterwards so onwards and upwards the mountain road I presume but that little adventure must wait until next week and if you're afraid that you're gonna miss it please consider subscribing to my channel that will keep you notified of my next upload Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Take care of each other and I'll see you in about a week. Ha det fint, allesammen.